Now that you've seen what Explore can do, let's look at how easily and creatively you can do it. For ease of use, the Explore package gives you a worktop from which you can select all the system functions just by pressing a button. The worktop has buttons for project management, file management, organizing subdirectories and so forth, and buttons to launch the software modules you use to create animation. Getting started, Pascal, our animation artist, can open windows for different views of the work, allowing operation on a single monitor. You generally choose your options just by clicking down a menu and selecting. This is the Polygon Modeling Module. Pascal simply clicks the points she wants for vertices or corners of the polygon and moves the lines around until she's satisfied with the shape. For dimension, Pascal uses the convenient dial box whose functions pop up on the screen for easy reference to extrude the shape into a 3D object. This is how the letters in the Rainbow Images logo you saw were created. You can build shapes that are simple or quite complex, store them and retrieve them for later use and modification, like this off-road vehicle. The Polygon Modeler gives you a host of options for modifying, replicating, extending and changing an object just by moving points. Explore keeps the lines connected. Now you see Pascal making the off-road vehicle into three successively more distorted shapes. Calling up an even more complex model, Pascal will demonstrate how Explore lets you create variations on the object using a handy mode box. You see the three-dimensional mode box cube being placed over part of the object. Now Pascal can transform just the part in the mode box using any of the many, many transformation features of Explore. When she is done, the object is automatically reconnected. We can also bend and shape our object by transforming along a cylinder. Pascal shapes a mode type box, bends it, twists it, and presto, the Explore system reshapes our object, and we can look at the new version from all angles. To show you the next modeler, the patch or curve modeler, Pascal has gone back to the worktop and selects patch. Just by picking points, she can have Explore describe a B-splined curve, a smooth curve that averages the position of the points. Using the dial box, Pascal can move the objects in the Z dimension. When she has the shapes she wants, Explore connects them, forming a curved surface we can examine easily. It's also easy to change, just by grabbing the points and moving them around and so forth until you're satisfied with the shape of your surface. One important use of patch models is curved surfaces. You see how Pascal can just draw a curve and sweep that curve into a vase shape? This is how the perfume bottle you saw was created. Of course, Pascal could use the transformation features of Explore to modify the shape of this object, as she did with the off-road vehicle or the body. Explore features an auto-tube facility that Pascal is using here. She has drawn a line spelling the word hello and now is attaching a cylinder. Explore now turns the entire line into a tube described by that cylinder, which we can view easily. So you can see how easily Explore makes it for you to create the objects that will be part of your animation or product visualization using the polygon and patch modelers to create images in 3D space. Now let's look at surface characteristics. Explore lets you select colors and surface textures and lighting for your objects by using the dial box to modify these spherical patches. So Pascal can change the red, green, and blue values of the object's color. The modifications are displayed dynamically in the description box below the sphere. She can modify the ambient light, how much of the scene's light will be reflected or caught by the object, from 0 to 100%. Now Pascal is modifying specularity, going from a highly diffused surface to a highly specular one with a sharp specular spot. Pascal can also modify the roughness or smoothness of the surface and finally the whiteness, which determines how much of an illumination color is reflected in the hot spot versus the color of the object. So you can see how easily you can create a huge array of surface and lighting models and view the colors against your proposed background. You can also move the lighting source in space. Then just tap the mouse to save the characteristics and you're on your way, quickly and easily, to building the library of materials you can apply to different objects as you build them. 
As you can see, it is easy to select the visual appearance of your objects using the lighting module. Now for the fun. The Explore Animation module and the heart of the Explore system. Pascal has called our perfume bottle up, giving it a starting position and is now describing a trajectory for its animation. She indicates points to build a curve and can assign those points timings or frames. She can also create a scaling or transformation of our object at each point. The Explore system automatically evolves the shape of the object as it moves along the trajectory you build to the various transformations you have created. Now Pascal has called up a box she built earlier and is building this second object into our animation. She selects points and builds a trajectory for this second object in space. All Pascal does is select points and key in timings. The Explore package is constantly creating the sophisticated scripting language that will actually define the complex animated sequence. So you animate by pointing, not by going back and forth to a spreadsheet model like some packages force you to do. Now Pascal can watch the box move along the trajectory and can move any of the points, change timings, change the scale or translation. Now Pascal is attaching the trajectory of the box to the trajectory of the bottle, so the movement of the box follows the movement of the bottle. This is automatic and lets you script very sophisticated choreography of related and unrelated objects very easily and intuitively. The next choreography option is the camera. We don't have to let it sit stationary, but can direct its own movement through the animation for even more dramatic effect. The left-hand windows show the movement of the camera with the view space of the camera indicated by the green lines radiating from the camera icon. As we move the camera, we can also see in the right-hand window the camera's eye view, what the final image will look like to the camera and to the viewer. You have the freedom to define your camera motion and angle easily and make the camera go anywhere you want, any time you want. We can not only move the camera and change angles in 3D space, but we can control its focal angle and the target position of its focal spot. Explore also feeds back the frame numbers for key positions in the choreography for every object, the camera, and the light source, so it's easy to keep track of sophisticated motion. And with all the views on one screen, the user doesn't have to switch back and forth between templates, spreadsheets, or additional screens. Now you see the character of our animation building up as Pascal reviews the line test of the choreography so far. And we can choreograph light just like any object. Pascal can click out the path for the light sources, change their speed, direction, intensity, and color easily and quickly. You can light objects, create a setting sun, a horizon, whatever you like. You can add spot sources, infinite light sources, change the timing patterns, change the angle of the cone and the intensity of the light. Now all the object's choreography can be viewed. It's easy to modify any path of any object at any time. Creative, very interactive. You can see immediately the effects of your ideas on the animation you are building. When you are done, click the mouse and the script is automatically created. Then you can add the really special effects transparency, surface textures, and surface images like marble or granite. Now we can open a larger screen and preview what our rendered animation will look like at selected frames with a variety of surface ideas. Here's a simple light source with transparency applied to the glass of the bottle. Here Pascal has added a spotlight source highlighting the edge of the frame. This frame shows an illumination map cast onto our glass. And this frame shows 2D texture mapping along the walls of our background. You can see the richness of the textures, lighting, and imagery that you can create with Explore. Here are even more images, simply chosen from a menu. Pascal has added another map to the floor, and a bump map, a special strength of Explore, to the upper left-hand corner. We've also added solid texturing, a true three-dimensional texturing as if the top of the glass bottle were carved from a solid built with the texture, much more realistic than surface mapping of textures. And finally, here is the rendered animated image, an image that would be useful for product design, for commercial animation, for market testing. Now let's take a quick look 
at how Explore was used to create our title image. Title images being one of the bread and butter uses of animation. Explore's extensive transformation capability, used on objects or groups you define with the mode box, gives you tremendous flexibility in creating interesting objects and variations on them. Those same transformations, entered into points on the choreographed path of an object, cause Explore to create automatically the bending and stretching you see here as the letters move along their imaginative path. If you wonder how the logo moves were created, you'll be surprised at the simplicity. Our logo was created by the French artist Follon. Pascal has recreated this image as a neon tube, built much the same way she built the word hello earlier. And Pascal can actually direct the camera to move through the tube to create the effect you saw in our animated image. The camera movement and position are displayed in the work view, and the camera's own view is displayed in this window. Again, these windows make it very easy to create sophisticated choreography. She can also move different light sources through the animation, aim them, change their color and intensity. Explore gives you a comprehensive picture of the choreography of all your animation elements. And, as Pascal has done, you can at any time launch a line test to preview the animation from the camera's eye view. Of course, you can preview individual rendered frames of your final animation before you finalize your script. Then just pick your output device and set the machine on render. The final image once again. We hope this demonstration of the ease, power and imagination of Explore has stimulated your imagination. Explore is cost effective, proven, and ready to go to work for you. To arrange a personal hands-on demonstration, just call this number. We'll leave it up while we show you a few final Explore images. Thank you.